Hey everyone, today we're taking a special look at the new Surface Book from Microsoft. Let's see if it really is the ultimate laptop. As you can see, this device looks absolutely gorgeous. The first thing that catches your attention is what Microsoft calls the dynamic fulcrum hinge. While it creates a sturdy balance between the keyboard and the display, as you can see it also leaves an ugly gap, causing the display to not sit flush with the keyboard. Aside from that, the dynamic fulcrum hinge is very sturdy and it actually looks quite cool in my opinion. Microsoft wanted to balance the display on the keyboard without adding a considerable amount of weight to the device and as a result the dynamic fulcrum hinge was born. See this button right here? This button allows you to detach the display from the keyboard effectively turning your Surface Laptop into a powerful Surface Tablet. How cool is that? And now you have a powerful and lightweight Surface Tablet in your hands made from a magnesium alloy design that's lighter and more durable than aluminum. As you can see here, there's an audio jack on the top right of the device, volume and power buttons at the very top, and just a beautiful 3000 by 2000 screen resolution. Alright, enough about the tablet. Let's take a look at the keyboard. Oh my lordy, it looks like a million bucks. It actually has backlit keys too. How cool is that? As you can see, it has a mini display port and a charging port on the right side of the device, and two USB 3.0 ports and SD card slot on the left side. It's very sturdy and it doesn't feel brittle at all. Now, as you can see here, the Surface Book looks great as a laptop. But did you know you can configure the Surface Book in five different modes to make your productivity just a little bit better? In this scenario, I'm removing the display and attaching it backwards. Yup, backwards. Then I lower it towards the keyboard, now making it super easy to draw or take notes with the Surface Pen. Simply amazing. But if this isn't your cup of tea, just lift the display back up and flip it over. Now you're in tent mode. This mode is perfect for showing off a recipe in the kitchen while you cook, watching a movie, or whatever you need to do while having the display propped up. And if that's not good enough, flip it over one more time for stand mode. And as you can see, the display automatically adjusts. This is great for showcasing a presentation or even drawing with your Surface Pen. And when you're done, just press the detach button and put the display back to its original configuration. Can the MacBook do that? Yeah, I didn't think so. And here you can see me typing away like the good boy that I am. The keyboard feels buttery smooth and it's very quiet. Some argue that the display wobbles a bit when you tap on it, but it's sturdy enough in my opinion. Now let's take a look at the Surface Pen. It attaches to the left side of the display thanks to a special magnetic strip and it doesn't matter if you attach the pen upside down like I did. The pen actually looks nice and resembles an actual pen. Pressing the top of the pen immediately opens up OneNote. And I mean immediately. As you can see here, I am using the top of the pen as an eraser, which works amazingly well. Now watch me as I attempt to draw with the Surface Pen for the first time and I didn't have to read a manual. Look at how fast OneNote opens up with just a one press of a button. Simply amazing. Hold down the eraser button you can launch Cortana too. And if you want to adjust your pen's pressure sensitivity, all you have to do is open up the Surface app that comes pre-installed. The app is front and center on your start menu so it's kinda hard to miss. Here you can adjust your settings and test it in real time. The Surface Book also comes with Fresh Paint, a cool drawing app from Microsoft. Watch as I attempt to be artistic and fail miserably. Regardless of my drawing skills, the Surface Book and Surface Pen are both amazing tools and very easy to use. Those who draw will definitely love the Surface Book. Microsoft Edge allows you to write on the web, as Microsoft likes to say. Well, this works well on the Surface Book too. As long as you know what you are doing, Unlike me in this scenario where it took me a few seconds to realize I needed to click the draw button before drawing, it feels natural. I didn't have to press hard on the screen, 
it actually felt like I was using a marker on my display. Once you are done, you can even share your drawing. All you have to do is press the share button and then you can send your drawing over to OneNote or any other favorite application. One of the cool features of the Surface Book is the ability to detach the display and use it as a tablet or a clipboard as Microsoft calls it. This is perfect with your Surface Pen giving you creative freedom as you walk around the city drawing on your fancy device or taking notes during a lecture or even sitting on the couch while you work on your creativity. The possibilities are endless. Watching a movie on your device might be a bit weird at first, mainly because of the display resolution. Like I mentioned earlier, the resolution is 3000 by 2000, which is a 3 to 2 aspect ratio. You will see gaps at the top and bottom of the videos, unfortunately. Now you can try to use a program called Media Player Classic to fit the screen, but that will be an extra step you will have to take. Not that big of a deal, but thought I'd point it out anyway. So is the Surface Book the ultimate laptop? No, this is more than that. Instead, this is the ultimate Surface. This is Ron from WinBeta, and thanks for watching.